Okay, we're going to do the words game over here. Uh, and this might be some fun for some game designers on the splash screen when it's game over. These might make some nice symbols. So, let's see what we got here. Simplest possible way to combine these letters. Sorry, that was typo. Game. G-A-M-E. Over. O. V. Now remember when the V, when you just use simple combinations, it turns into an arrow because you got to use a word line to go through it. Otherwise, you'd leave empty space, and that's not acceptable. Um, some people have tried saying what you should do is make the V like so, and then put a letter inside of it just like you use a Y. Now that is possible, and I've seen people use it that way, and some people have been very successful. The problem is, though, it's hard enough to make it clear that the object is inside of a Y cup. The V is even harder because you're dealing with a, a, a narrower space. So I don't recommend it. I really don't recommend it. I say use a word line always. E R. Okay, so we've got game over. Not bad. Looks kind of cute. This kind of looks like somebody with their arms up in the air if you if you use some creative... Uh, anyways. Okay, so game over here. Let's start with G, game. Now, the first thing we know is we're starting with the letter G. So the G is just a curl. It doesn't matter which way it curls. So when you start with a curl, the best way I find is like so. Or you could do it the other way if you like, like so. But start it and come right down into a word instead of making it two separate strokes. If you do it this way, then you have to make a separate stroke. So for game, for example, we would go game. Kind of like the number two, actually. Very, it is basically the English number two. So, G-A. Now what else do we have? We have A-M. Those can be merged like so. So we'd come out of that and we'd immediately go down like that. And then we just loop around and we've got our E. So we can reduce it to, there's not a whole lot we can do with it, but we can Turn it, make it very, very efficient by reducing it to a single stroke, if you want to call that. Or I should say, we don't have to lift the pen, it's completely cursive. Game. Not bad, I like it. Um, we might be able to find a way to make this kind of visual. The other thing we can do is we can play with the other combinations, and then you just play with ratios and proportions, and maybe uh, you go... I don't know, maybe you can find some way that it really looks like game to you. Maybe this is a paddle or something. I, I don't know. Um, it's, an, it's really a kind of an individual basis. You'll design the words that you think represent what you want to visually convey. So, over. O, what, what can we do with it? Well, we can put the V directly inside of an O. This is O-V. Remember, this is an E. If it's got two lines, it's O-V, and they connect at the same point, I mean. And if it's got three that all go to the same point, that's E-V. So, O, V, and then we've got E, and we know we can put the R inside of the E like so. Over. That's kind of neat. It's one thing over the other. You can do that. We could also try putting that in all inside of the initial O. How do we do that? Well, we've got an O. Now, we'd have a V like so normally. What we need to do is we need to make room down here at the bottom. We need to push this up and make room here for our E, R underneath it. So, we go... This is what we do. Now we need to find a, a proper sequence of strokes that we like, that each person will find their own, but I, pr I like to try to find the most efficient way. So, looking at this shape, I would recommend starting at the bottom maybe, coming around. You can do a double loop like so. Um, if you're really good, you might even be able to do a backwards R. I can't do them. So, the other option might be to try here, starting on the small one, and then you'd come around. Yeah, that might work. Um, it's going to be hard to make it, the outside look very circular, but so if we start here. That's a hard one to do, but we'll... Anyways, and then all you need is a V on there. So you can do, you can do it in two, but it's hard, and even I don't dare try that. I would say you just do two circles, and then you draw your... You could maybe do this into one. There, that's how you can save a stroke. So, one, two... Three, four. Over. So let's put them all together. Game over. By the end, I found I just didn't have the room, and I ended up with a, a strange arrangement with the game very big. But you get the idea. You can be creative, and the words are always flexible. Had I wanted to, I could have decided at this point that I want to get back over here, and then I could have used an E 
R or something to cover in the space better. There's always choices with Descript. That's the beautiful thing about it.